yellow cone flower, purple cone flower, compass plant, cup plant, dog bane hemp, partridge pea, prairie grass, wild white indigo, rattlesnake master, and mixed in there, plenty of milkweed, a favorite of the caterpillars that become monarch butterflies. Just a decade ago, this was all farmland. Now it's the Granville Land Lab, a nearly 100 acre outdoor classroom, research facility, and wildlife habitat. Granville High School ecology teacher Jim Redding says this specific wildflower mix was chosen to bloom all the way from spring to late fall. And the reason why that matters is because that creates habitat, that creates a food source for your pollinators. In turn, healthy bees and butterflies help feed us by pollinating our fruits and vegetables. If you want to create your own pollinator garden, some native plants to consider are 